To the supporters of the opposition movement, she is a powerful symbol, but to those uh, who knew her best, she is much more. Four months after Neda Aga Sultan was gunned down in the streets of Tehran, her mother is speaking out. At considerable risk to her own safety, Neda's mother tells Octavia Nasser how she keeps her daughter's memory alive. The anguish of losing a daughter. On the 21st of June, Neda Aga Sultan was laid to rest, a tragic symbol of the protests that gripped Iran. She was shot as she walked to her car after a demonstration. For her mother, Hajar Rostami, it was the first day of a pain that will never heal. Neda's last moments were captured on video and flashed around the world. Her mother could only watch it once. It is the look of death in her eyes, she says. Hajar Rustami spoke to CNN from Tehran a few days ago. She told us that look is with her every morning when she wakes up and every night when she goes to sleep. Neda was strong and brave, she says, in a whisper in her native Farsi. Neda's mother says she approved of her actions and that she participated in demonstrations as well. She tells us the family wasn't with Musavi or against Ahmadinejad, but demonstrated for freedom. She says her daughter's killer is still at large, but she hopes justice will be served. I am waiting for that day, she adds. Rostami is proud of her daughter and grateful for the support from across the world. Rostami visits her daughter's grave every Friday. People go and write on her grave in red ink the word martyr, she says, and then the authorities go and wipe it off. I always saw Neda as a martyr, she whispers. Neda was a martyr for her homeland. Neda's mother spoke with Octavia Nasser and Wayne Drash a few days ago from Tehran. You can read a full transcript of that interview on our website. We also have a photo gallery chronicling Neda's life. You'll find it all at cnn.com slash Iran.